Talofa, Talofa Laba. Thank you to all our veterans for your service. I hope you know that you mean so much to our community in American Samoa. Thank you to everyone for putting this event together. It's an important topic. I serve on the Veterans Affairs Committee, which is both humbling and a great honor because we work to see that veterans have the care and services they need. Over the past two years, the committee put a great emphasis on the national tragedy of veteran suicide. As a nation, we have made real progress in recognizing that mental health struggles should not be stigmatized, but known as a health concern. A time of mental distress is something that can truly happen to anyone unexpectedly. It can be short-term or long-term. All of us know someone who has struggled with chronic depression or anxiety or in other ways. Many of those who serve experience PTSD. So we need to be aware of the signs of distress, know where to go for help or counseling, and how to support anyone on such a journey. An important step is improving our facilities and the medical access we need. In March, I testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee on the need for additional support for American Samoa's Medicaid program and modernization of the LBJ Tropical Medical Center. I'm an original co-sponsor of the Insular Areas Medicaid Parity Act, which would provide permanent funding, stability, lift the caps, and maintain the increased FMAP we worked together to get in the last few years. In my meetings in Hawaii recently, I asked the Army Corps of Engineers to review their study to reassess any cost impacts post-pandemic on construction. In Congress, we've requested the next step, design and architectural planning. In my meeting at Tripler, we discussed the needs at the VA clinics in American Samoa and Hawaii, such as caregiver travel costs. I will keep after these needs for our islands, LBJ, the clinics, and how flight costs affect everyone. And just last week, our committee began examining the VA budget request, which is a 10% increase. In recent years, we've had record VA funding which was aimed at reducing backlogs and modernizing VA systems and record keeping. That effort has made progress and is ongoing, but there's more to do. I hope to have good things to report to you throughout the year. Finally, new legislation would create an advisory committee of veterans all over the Pacific, including American Samoa, to put local needs in front of the VA secretary in another way. I'll keep you informed. I trust you had a good summit. God bless you. God bless American Samoa and the great United States of America. Soifua ma'ia manuia.